most times, it's quite difficult to understand who we are or why we are here. It's easier to get lost in this massive chaos we create in our minds while trying to figure out who we should be or shouldn't be. Deeper and deeper and deeper, we dive into a dark hole within and we realize that there are no escape plans or routes. We do not even realize how we got here in the first place. But sometimes, we can actually tell how it begun. Well, for me, I chose my flesh. And yes, I had heard so much about God and He specifically placed His Spirit within me. But I chose never to follow. Placing the sky with all these perfections and creativity, the complexities that came with it was the first proof to show that I had no excuse. But excuse me, God, do I not get to make the choices for this life was my own excuse. I genuinely did not want to believe his existence. Far be it from me that I actually gave thanks to the creator of the skies and the seas. And eventually, I began to create for myself the exact image of what I believe a God should be. The result? My mind became so dark and confused, claiming myself to be wise, I became an utter fool. I said my mind became so dark and confused, claiming myself to be wise, I became the utter fool. Money, fame, human accolades, these were more powerful to me. I needed to have all the money. I needed the most popular friends. I needed accolades to come knocking at my door every single morning. Eventually, the exact things the Creator gave me to take charge over became ruler over me. I was that slave that felt so proud to be around. My hands were chained, my legs were tied, and yet I felt confused and still I smiled. These sins, as well as sexual sins, ran like two perpendicular lines, never coming to an end or pause. Women, men, they were no longer enough. My heart burned with so much lust and it consumed me, but it couldn't stop. My soul received the very penalty it so richly deserved. No peace, no rest. I just wanted it to end. And right there, in my roller coaster straight to hell, I remembered one name. The exact name I had chosen never to remember. The exact name I never believed or accepted. With so much doubt in my heart that he would ever respond, I whispered, Abba, would you ever forgive a lost sinner like me? And he did respond. Do you believe, he asked. Believe. This world has taught me never to believe. I do not know what that word means. But I do know that you do not belong to this world. So yes, I believe. Romans 8, 1 were his exact words to me on that day. And now there is therefore no condemnation to any man who now belongs to Christ Jesus. You belong to me. You are mine. I wept. I wept like my whole life depended on it. My tears could only say the words my mouth could never pronounce. It screamed, I'm so sorry. I know I do not deserve you. But thank you for being so patient with me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for choosing a lost sinner like me. I will do better. With your spirit's help, I will do better. I choose you as my king and my ruler. I choose obedience to every of your word. I no longer want to be alone. I cannot be detached from the vine. I'm just a branch. I'm a branch that is totally dependent on you. No more flesh. I belong to you and you alone.